everybody. Welcome to another Daily Nostalgia Show. Today I got a really fantastic episode for you. Lots of good stuff in this episode. Lots of funny memes and puns. Lots of retro new news and lots of mail day unboxings and some other surprises along the way. So without further ado, sit back and let's get the show started. Now the first bit of news I have is a sad one. But Paul Rubens, also known as Pee Wee Herman, has passed away on July 30th. Now, he entertained us all, especially during my childhood. He was fantastic. We used to get up and watch the uh, Pee Wee Herman show. And he did a fantastic job of entertaining us throughout the years. It was very funny, unique. And I learned a couple of facts I didn't know about Pee Wee Herman. One was Paul Rubens, in general would make sure that he would go out, go all out for his friends and family of sending them birthday wishes all day long, not just like one birthday wish, but he'd really go all out and celebrate people's birthdays. So that was really uh, caring, showed his character, very caring, kind person. And also, I didn't know till this day, but I kind of picked it up as I watched it as an adult, But the theme song was sung by Cyndi Lauper doing her Betty Boop impersonation. I kind of got the hint of it and then I had to look it up and sure enough it was Cyndi Lauper who sang the Pee Wee's Playhouse song. So that was pretty interesting. So anyways, I want to wish my condolences to all the family, friends, and fans of the show. And Pee Wee, I hope you rest in peace and enjoy your next big adventure. Now let's go into something more lighthearted and cheerful. Second bit of news I have is Mother 2 is getting a fan remake. Uh, So Mother 2 is a fantastic game and as you can see the graphics look beautiful. I'm really enjoying the graphics the way they've designed them. It looks really over the top really nice. And I gotta say I definitely love Mother 2. That was the Super Nintendo one. It was basically just a reimagining of the first one from the Nintendo NES. And I really am looking forward to playing this. I want to check it out when it uh, comes to fruition. They are working on it now, so there was no time frame. But this is a Mother 2 fan remake, and it looks like they're doing a fantastic job of really fine-tuning it and really capturing the uh, magic and the imagination of the game and really going all out with the beautiful graphic. Definitely looking forward to playing this Mother 2 fan remake. Second bit of news I have is Double Dragon Gaiden should be out the time you're watching this video. I'm definitely going to be playing it later today. And it looks fantastic. If you ever played the Scott Pilgrim games, they are designing the graphics to look sort of like that. More cartoony, more fun, but using the Double Dragon franchise. And you get to play as Jimmy, Billy, and Marion, and a few others along the way. There's a few other characters you can unlock and play as. So it looks really interesting. Can't wait to play it. And it looks a lot of fun. So definitely awesome. Also, more Double Dragon news is Double Dragon Collection is coming out soon. And looks pretty cool. Uh, A lot of the Double Dragon games have been released on the Switch, except for two. But this collection will have the two that it's missing well it's missing a few others but it'll have a majority of at least the nintendo nes version so it'll have double dragon one through four so one through three was uh, nintendo nes four was super uh super nintendo it'll have super double dragon which i believe was a super i mean was the super nintendo game also so correct me if i'm wrong on that one, I'm not 100% positive on that. And Double Dragon Advance was the Game Boy Advance version, which was a fun game also. So it'll have a total of six games, as far as I know. Unfortunately, like I said, the uh, Double Dragon 1 through 3 is the Nintendo NES versions. It's not the, There's not going to be any arcade versions, as far as I know. And then 4, and then Super Double Dragon, and the Double Dragon Advance. So... It's going to have quite a bit of titles on it, and I'm hoping that they go over the top and give us a bunch of character art and a bunch of other stuff, like we can listen to soundtracks and so on, like they've been doing with other video game franchises lately. So hopefully they give it some love 
and not just give us a bunch of ROMs on a uh, cartridge. So anyways, that sounds pretty awesome. Can't wait for that. And last but not least, the developer is porting over DuckTales from Nintendo NES to the Super Nintendo. He has also ported over The Legend of Zelda to the Super Nintendo and Mega Man 2. Now it'll have some quality of life improvements. It'll have some visual improvements over the original. And it'll also be able to use more advanced soundtrack from the remastered version that came out about 2011, 2012. There was a remastered DuckTales that used a CD quality soundtrack. So that will be in the options. So you can either choose that or you can use the original music and you can load these up on your EverDrives or other devices. And uh, as far as I know, there is no cartridge, but there will be a download link in the description. And like I said, it's a fantastic job. I can't wait to check it out. And I do love the remastered soundtrack, so it'll be great to play it with the original graphics. So, anyways, that is it for Retro New News. Hello, Retro Poppers. Welcome to the Mail Day for August. Lots of fantastic things for Mail Day. Uh, quite an abundance of stuff that was given to me or sent to me or stuff that I picked up. So, without further ado, let's check it out. First thing on the list is from Sarah sent in. Fantastic thing that she made me. I have a lot of the Amiibos, but they are sometimes cumbersome to get up, and some of them are un not unboxed, some of them are sealed. So it is cool. She made me some Amiibo cards. So you can scan these, and they work just like the regular Amiibos. So pretty cool. I'll show a closer up of that. So thank you for sending that in. And let's see what else. Quite a few games came in. And we'll just start with this pile here. And we'll show, like I said, a closer up. Uh, we got AEW Fight Forever. So Rustling, Love Rustling. Double Dragon Gaiden. Just came out. Got that today. So pretty awesome. Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. So Harvest Moon's game. I know this is not the best of the ones, but it's part of my collection. My buddy suggested I pick this one up so we can play like a party game. And I don't know much about it, but I've heard it's like Monopoly with monsters and stuff. So we'll check it out. And it is Dokapon Kingdom. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever played this game and if you like it. But it looks fun, so I like both of that. One I wanted to play for a long time, didn't get a chance to play, is Damon X... Uh, Makima? I think, I think I'm pronouncing that right. So that looks pretty awesome. And one I really wanted to play, and I've been waiting for this for a while, is Shin Chan. Me and the Professor on Summer Vacation. Shin Chan is a character that was created in Japan, but it's a very popular in Asian countries. I've seen it the first time when I was in Korea. How would you describe Shin Chan? He is basically the Bart Simpson of Asia, but really funny character and like showing off his undangi, his little butt, doing the butt dance. And uh, people who know Shin Chan know what I mean. But very funny. And there is Shin Chen, me and my professor on summer vacation. This game looks a lot of fun, so I've been waiting to check that out. And Sonic 3 the Hedgehog, the Tiger Electronics handheld. You know, I'm the handheld gamer, so I love my handhelds. And I did play some of these Tiger, Tiger Electronics back in the day. These one and done video games weren't great but they did pass time and they did what they needed to do so this is sonic 3 the hedgehog awesome can't wait to have that in my collection it was a pretty big popular game month so got a lot more games than usual monopoly on the sega genesis 
so pretty awesome i did have this version back in the day has all its booklets and things so i'll show that off in a second here risk definitely awesome Detroit Become Human. I heard good things from some of the YouTubers out there, so I've been wanting to play this for a while. Looking forward to checking this out. Uh, the Last of Us. I didn't play any of The Last of Us games. So this is The Last of Us Remastered. Uh, so that's the on the PS PlayStation 4. The Last of Us Part 2. So I'll play the first one, of course, first, and then get on to this one. Didn't have any of the PlayStation God of Wars, the PS4 versions. So here is God of War on the PlayStation 4. And Days Gone. So pretty cool to have those in my collection. And got a lot of hours of playing to do. Now what else do I have here besides games? Well, we got Snarl. For my Dinobots collection, I have all the other three up there. I have Slag, uh, Grimlock, and I forgot one, but I have three of them up there. I know I have Swoop, but actually I have four up there. So I definitely needed Snarl, so that is pretty awesome to have him in my collection. Someone gave me a bendable Bendy Batman. I'm not a Batman collector, so it's but this is probably the only Batman I own in my collection. I'm more of a Superman fan, but pretty cool someone sent that in. I really like it. Awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I got the hardback Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom strategy guide, so definitely show that off. That was pretty awesome. Got that after I beat the game, so I already beat the main plot after about 240 hours into it and then did a bunch of the side missions but it's definitely nice to have it for some of the maps and some of the other side quests that I didn't finish yet we got or I got at least the Masterverse Sunman from Masters of the Universe so that is really awesome I really like Sunman and I like this especially Masterverse version. So awesome to have in my collection. And two more things. So I, like I said, I got a lot of things. So sorry, sorry, sorry. But it's a big mail day. I didn't open this one for a while and I figured it opened finally. And that is another Masters Universe Mechanic and the Ground Ripper, so his vehicle. So any Masters Universe fans will know what this is. It's kind of like a rip cord. You pull it and the vehicle goes forward. And Mechanek wasn't my favorite character. He's my least favorite character of the Master Universe characters. All he has is an extending neck that gets longer and he's like a scout. But still nice to have in my collection. That's why I kind of waited on opening this one. And last but not least, which this is really awesome, and this goes for Nintendo history, is back in the day, they did have a high score system where they would give out uh, little trophies and there was three different poses for two characters there was three different poses for the super mario brothers just mario himself and three different poses for link from legend of zelda so i got one of the high score awards the trophies and that is right here so this is link this is a 1988 award that Nintendo would give out for a high score and you'd put your high score here in a little sticker with your name. And it was produced by Hasbro for Nintendo, so we'll check that out. Pretty awesome. Anyways, that is it for Mail Day. Now let's check out a category I like to call I Meme to be Punny. All the memes and puns sent out from the interwebs. Chuck Norris once urinated in a semi-truck gas tank as a joke. That truck went on to be known as Optimus Prime. You know what the crazy thing is? Not only did Chuck Norris pee in the gas tank, but he filled it all the way up. <laughs> 
My daughter has been injured in a peekaboo accident. Sorry, sir. We'll need to send her to the ICU. <laughs> uh, that was too funny. That was a good one. Can I call you back? I'm watching a live stream. Uh, <laughs> too funny. And last but not least, a Star Trek pun. I asked Mr. Data to spell wonton backwards. He said, not now. <laughs> that is pretty funny. And last but not least, a new category is, you might be retro if you know who this is. So let me know in the comments if you know who that picture is. And if you do, you just might be retro. That is it for the Daily Nostalgia Show of August. Lots of good things came in the mail, as you can see. Lots of unboxings, lots of cool things. Like I said, it was unfortunate news and sad that Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman passed away. But like I said, I wish all the prayers and best wishes go out to all the friends, family, and fans of the show. And we will always cherish the good memories and good times we had with Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubens in this world. Anyways, that is it for the show. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Take care, everybody. Until next time.